What's up? It's Adam the Movie Gap. Today we'll be reviewing Harry Potter, The Deathly Hallows Part 1, which is the seventh movie of the franchise. This movie basically sets up for um, Deathly Hallows Part 2, which is the finale of the uh, franchise, which I'll be reviewing next. This one came out in 2010. David Yates returns to direct it. Got a 7.7 .7 out of 10. Personally, I give it an 8 out of 10. Yes, a lot of, there are a lot of memes about them just camping in the woods the whole movie, but I still enjoyed it. Um, in this movie, Harry, Ron, Hermione set out to find the rest of the Horcruxes that they started looking for in uh, the sixth one. And in this movie, Voldemort has basically taken over the Ministry Hogwarts, um, has all of his people. So he's basically controlling um, the Ministry right now. In this movie, we also learn about the Deathly Hallows, the Elder Wand, which uh, Voldemort is looking for, the Invisibility Cloak that we saw earlier in the franchise, and the Resurrection Stone. Um which form the Deathly Hollows. There are some sad deaths in this movie. Uh, Hegwood, would, Hedwig, which is one of the sadder ones, Mad Ad Moody, and of course near the end, um, after one of my favorite scenes, Dobby die, or Dobby dies, which was definitely a gut wrencher for me. Um, some of the good parts I liked about this movie was before he died, when uh, Dobby was unscrewing the light switch to fall on Beatrix to help Perry escape, was one of my favorite scenes. Of course, it leads to the death, which is sad. But some cool facts also about this movie. This is the only Harry Potter film without McGonagall in it. I did not know that until I looked it up. Another one, um, while filming a stunt, Radcliffe's second or stunt double got hurt and was actually paralyzed um, from the stunt. Um, an explosion, he hit the wall pretty hard and he couldn't move after that, which was pretty sad. Um, but anyway, where does this rank in your list of Harry Potter movies? Is it near the top, near the bottom? Do you like part one or part two better? Please like, subscribe for more movies and let me know what movies you'd like me to review.